Hello everyone, welcome back to busyprogrammer.com and I'm Tanvir. In today's video we are going to learn how to create a bottom sheet uh, using Compose with Material 3 component. So before we dive into the code, uh, let's briefly understand what is a bottom sheet is. So a bottom sheet is a UI component that slides up from the bottom of the screen providing additional content or navigation option. It's a common pattern in modern app design. So let's start. As you see in my screen, uh, we have when we click on the op open sheet it slides up the bottom sheet it has two buttons and we also have a title and a description so let's first create an empty compose activity we will clean up the unnecessary compose functions and also in the dependency we will also add material 3 dependency so first we will take a box inside the box we will take uh, a modifier and we will also add the content alignment as center so first we will create the button which is says open sheet so that clicking on that button can open the bottom sheet for us okay and the text will be open sheet here As you see we have a build problem here so let's go back to the compile SDK and make it 34 okay so this is what we are going to build so now let's create a compose function for the content of this bottom sheet so we will take model bottom sheet from material 3 we'll add the opt-in for material experimental material 3 api and inside the model bottom sheet we have on dismiss request we will take some other parameters such as sheet state so for the sheet state let's create a variable model bottom sheet state and it will remember the sheet state so it should be remember bot model bottom sheet state let's copy this and paste here we will take the drag handle as the default drag handle bottom sheet defaults dot drag handle that should just work fine for our case and for the content we will create the title description and two buttons as you see in the right portion of my screen So we are taking a column since we will like to decorate the items vertically here so first we will take a column and we are making some alignment changes so the horizontal alignment should be center horizontally and also the vertical arrangement should be updated to a arrangement dot center now let's create a text compose and we will write it as verification required okay perfect now let's add a modifier we will add some padding as you see in my screen there is a little padding between the title and the description so we will add some padding over here we will add some font size actually it will be font weight and the font size will be 14 sp as you see we have made a mistake so we need to make the font size as font weight for the first one because font weight dot bold is, is actually a font weight so we would like to have the title as bold and let's now create this second text which is the description it will be a slightly smaller text as well as a grayish color not a bold one let's write up let's add a modifier here so we would like to have some padding in bottom and also in the start of and the end of the text now we are writing the description here for the simplicity just adding hard-coded string you can add it from the string resources in your case 
So I will add the font size now. Adding 10 dp, so since it will be smaller than the title. And we also need to make a gray color since this color will be grayish. Let me import this one. Okay. All right. So now our text, both of the text is ready, title and the description. Now we will design our buttons. So we have two buttons. So for the buttons, we are taking a row. Since we would like to uh, have these two buttons horizontally decorated, so which is why we have created a row row instead of a column. So we have added some padding in the modifier of the row as you see and now we are taking a outline button for the not now button because as you see in in my screen the not now button will be a, a, a outline button which will be void uh, in its body and the text color should be red so we also need to add a border for this outline button yeah so border stroke let me give a border stroke of 1 dp okay and the color should be red okay and it should be a rounded corner shape passing the percentage as 50 percent so now inside the outline button we will add a text compose and we'll write not now okay now let's create the verify now button i'm taking a button compose function for that and we'll add a rounded corner shape because it's a rounded button rounded corner button actually i'm taking the equal weight for outline button and this button since they will share the equal weight and they will have the same distance from this starting and the ending of the screen and I'm adding a shape as rounded corner shape and the color should be red in this case button defaults dot button colors and container color should be color dot red okay now let's add a test compose function similarly here it should be verified now okay let's run this project now so now as you see this open sheet is not doing anything because we haven't called this compose function yet in our button click we cannot invoke this function directly in here so we need to create a boolean mutable state of a boolean and we will handle that accordingly let's handle the logic for opening the bottom sheet so we are taking a variable called show bottom sheet and we are taking mutable state of false so initially it will be false and when we will click it should be true now we will check we will check if this is true then only we will show the bottom sheet so as you see this logic opens the bottom sheet for us but we need some little modification of our UI for the buttons uh, we, we want the not now button to be red of text color and the verify now button should be of white text color so let's adjust those and also I would like to give it a little bit of padding and adjust the size of the font so let's do that Now let's do the same for the verify now. 
so in, but in this case the text color will be a white One size will be 14 SP. Let's run this. Uh, it's still looking a bit odd. I think I have to handle the font size because it's 14 SP. It should be 12 because we have the same in the not now button. Now it looks perfect. It looks fine. So now let's handle this button actions. Not now and verify now. So we want to dismiss the. Uh, uh, bottom sheet when clicking on this uh, button let me rename this variable and we will for the state and we will just write model state dot height but since it's a suspended function we need to uh, launch this inside a coroutine scope so i have already created the coroutine scope now coroutine scope dot launch and inside there i will hide the bottom sheet same for the verify now button now let's run this now as you see it's dismissing but it's not opening after clicking the open sheet again so in order to handle this we need to so what we are going to do is we will pass a mutable uh, state inside our compost function and it should return also a mutable state of boolean now let me refactor this the h should be a small lighter all right so yeah so here the value should be false and we will assign this value in our main main activity set inside our main activity set content now let me return this variable let me refactor this now let's run now as you see if we click the not now it's still not opening yep now now on dismissing it is not opening the bottom sheet it's because we haven't handled our own dismiss request we need to pass this value as false pass the show bottom sheet value as false in inside the on dismiss request this should do the work for us okay now let's run again okay now we are dismissing it as you see it's, it opens and it also opens on clicking the not now or verify button So as you see, thank, uh, that's it for the video. So we have successfully created a bottom sheet navigation using Jetpack Compose. If you, found, if you have found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more Jetpack Compose tutorials. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. And happy coding and see you in the next video. Thank you.